Head west toward Executive Park Drive. It looks really disgusting. I don't think I'll be able to go in much farther than this. Oh, perfect. Oh my, how are these fish so big? There's something real sketchy going on over here, guys. Here's our starting point for today. We are at Chick-fil-A. If you guys look in here, our car is packed up and ready to go. We got our chicken biscuit and our four count of chicken minis. We are doing a special challenge. Let's open up Google Maps, because that's what we're gonna need. We are gonna do a Google Maps fishing challenge. We're starting at Chick-fil-A, and I'm gonna randomly select a body of water to fish at. So we can either go north, south, east, or west. Um, let's go, let's start by going south. We're just gonna scroll down, nice and slow. Here's a pond right here, literally two minutes away. Let's take a look at this guy, right there. You know what? That's spot number one. Didn't take long. We're gonna check it out. Let's see how far away it is. Six minutes away. Let's challenge begin. Head west toward Executive Park Drive. Ah, destination number one. Looks like a uh, nice little residential area. Cute little houses. I see the pond right down here. Let's check it out. There it is. I mean, looks muddy small not very impressive but you never know where there could be fish that's kind of the point of this challenge only one way to find out let's grab the gear get my backpack and what i've done is i've set up four different rods and reels because who knows where i'll be fishing today small pond let's start with a spinning rod and reel this should do just fine we've got a clearing so this will be our starting point take a look at the water it looks really disgusting I don't know if that's pollution or probably just an algae bloom, but this water does not look very good. Extremely warm. And we're not gonna spend a lot of time here. I mean, I don't see any activity whatsoever. So I'm gonna throw two baits. If no bites, we're gonna keep moving. Let's get started. We're gonna use a quarter ounce buzz bait. Perfect little pond bait. Just to try to get a feel if anything lives in here whatsoever. I don't think I'm actually gonna catch anything here, but you never know, it doesn't hurt to try. Oh, Jesus, that was my fourth cast. I can't believe it, in this tiny pond. Honestly, guys, I did not, that was terrible, oh my, that was a good fish. Holy, dude, did I find a gem right off the bat? Who would have expected a freaking chunk to be living in this tiny, disgusting pond. I can't believe this. I am not believing what I'm seeing here. Dude, I was feeling a little drowsy. That just woke me the heck up. Oh. I don't know what to say. When you guys saw this little hole in the ground, did you expect it to have fish like this? Be honest. I cannot believe it. This is a beautiful fish probably just shy of three pounds, two and three quarters at least. This fish right here is why you never underestimate any body of water. You should bite down on my hand. No matter how nasty it looks, fish can live in it. All right, big girl, you ready to go? Woo! Off she goes right there. So one thing I did notice, look at this guys. This is sand. If you look at the pond, the bottom is not muck. It's actually sand and gravel. That is Really, really good for holding a population of bass. This right here might actually be a hidden gem. All right. Oh no, okay. So that last fish came right about here. Oh, I got, that was another bite. Same spot, exact same spot. Next cast, oh, this place is nuts. I think the fish are stacked right by those reeds. That was a little fish, mind you, but that was another bite. All right, I didn't want to have to do this, but. If you guys look carefully, both of my fish came parallel to these reeds, very close to the bank, muddy water, early morning. These fish very tight to the shoreline and there's very little bank access. We're gonna have to go in. I didn't wanna have to do this. This pond looks pretty nasty, but we're going in. Whew. All right, very shallow right here. Let's see if I can find any drop-offs. Did it drop off? Okay, getting a little deeper, a little deeper. Okay, it's getting much deeper over here. All right, I don't think I'll be able to go in much farther than this. 
but this should be good enough to get some better casting angles. Perfect cast. There should be one over here. There it is! I called it. I freaking called it. All right, this is a little guy. Dude, there seem to be a lot of little fish in here, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, that one fish I caught is probably king of this pond. This is another little, little dink. I mean, I've probably gotten like six bites from dinks already. We'll let you go. Back into the pea soup. I would be shocked if I found another big fish in here. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna keep fishing. We will find out. We will uncover the secrets of this tiny little pond. Whoa. Okay, I was thinking. Okay, right here, don't wanna stand. That is a legitimately quicksand right there. All right, let's find a new spot. Whoa, a little bit deeper right here. Ooh, okay. All right, let's try to get cast right under those branch. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, do that again. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. Oh, dude, that was another big fish. I am not, I honestly cannot believe what I'm seeing right here. Right under the branch, right where he's supposed to be. Oh, please, baby. Oh my God, that was at least the same size, if not bigger. Come on, baby. Please come back. Oh, I skipped the buzz bait. I didn't even know you could do that. All right. We need, we need to throw a follow-up bait. Let's switch it out real quick. Follow-up bait. Black, wacky rigged, Senko. Whew, let's get back in there. Nice cast. Got way back under there. If I don't get him this cast, then he's probably moved on. Probably no longer under this tree. No luck. Let's go back to the buzz bait and we're gonna cover the entire bank. There should be more fish. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> oh, you missed it. My GoPro bugged out on me. I made 10 casts at the exact same shoreline where I caught the first fish. Look what I got right here. Another freaking chunk. This might be the same fish. I mean, it looks pretty much the exact same size, about three pounds, but there's no hook point in the side of his mouth. And it's also a little shorter and fatter, a little more chode-like, if I may say. So another beautiful fish. Unlucky we missed it, because that was a that was a heck of an explosion on the buzz bait. Wouldn't let this guy go. <sighs> Dude. <sighs> okay, you're ready. Off you go. I literally, this pond is literally zero visibility. Look at my hand. Boom, it's gone. Almost. Probably about four inches of visibility. I'm trying to think whether I should stick with the buzz bait for one more loop or try a different bait. Now we gotta stick to the buzz bait. Still cannot believe we found this freaking gem on a random Google Maps fishing challenge. Never even heard of this spot, never been here, and this fish. So that last fish, literally what I did, let me teach you guys something about the buzz bait. You can annoy a fish into biting the buzz bait if you know they're there. So I already know this spot right here with these reeds is a really good location because I already caught that or my other two fish right here. So what I did in the last fish is I made 10 casts, at least 10, maybe even 12 or 13 in the exact same area. When you're fishing the buzz bait and you have that loud, obnoxious bait buzzing over them, it might take a few times before you can actually get them to bite it. That's exactly what happened with that last fish. I finally annoyed him into striking. Got a little reaction strike out of him. There's something real sketchy going on over here, guys. There's a guy up there. He's literally just creeping up that door, looking in all the windows. I'm gonna try to keep my voice down so he doesn't notice me, but I got him on camera. He's wearing a blue bandana with a black tank top. If he goes around to the back of the house, I may have to call the cops on him. He has not rung the doorbell yet. He's just looking on all the windows. I'm just gonna act very nonchalant like I'm fishing when in actuality, I am recording him. The buzzbait bite has died. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it up. Instead of fishing the top of the water column, I'm gonna try fishing the middle. So we've caught all of our fish on a quarter ounce white and chartreuse buzzbait. Now we're gonna try a quarter ounce white and chartreuse tipped chatterbait. Let's check and see how deep it is in the middle of this pond. One, two, three, four, four 
less than four feet deep in the middle of this pond. How are these fish so big? This pond isn't big at all. That is, I wonder what they're eating in here. I heard some frogs. I have not seen any bluegill. I haven't seen much of anything except for the few fish that I've caught. Oh, a oh, little guy. But, I mean, right along these reeds, this is clearly where these fish like to be stacked. I'm actually surprised I have not caught more of these little friends. So this is what I would expect out of a little hole in the middle of nowhere. A very skinny, unhealthy, stunted looking fish. I mean, I don't know where these giant chunks are coming from, but I, they're in here, so we're gonna try to catch them. And by the way, I took off the chatterbait and I switched to a finesse spinnerbait. Why? Because the chatterbait was getting stuck on all the branches, all the reeds. Spinnerbait with the safety pin style arm right here actually goes through hardcover a lot more easily. Oh, that's another, jeez, right in front of me. God, it's not huge, but this guy's a fighter. I literally saw him come up in the pea soup. This is another solid fish. All the good fish are coming right from this one section of this little pond. They are super ultra concentrated. I just land this guy. You get up here, bud. There's nothing that feels better than coming to a brand new spot and just slaying fish. Another nice chunk. I mean, all the quality fish seem to be pretty well fed. Then all of the skinny ones, tiny ones are the ones that can't find any food. So I don't know if that means the forage in here is just really big or what, but We've got some quality fish in this pond. Who knows? There could easily be a five pounder in here, I bet. Oh, oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. That didn't even feel like a fish. That is another one in the spinner bait. And I finally caught one in the sunlight. This guy was, how big is it? Oh, it's a baby, okay. Well, it's a dink fest now. We're probably gonna change it up in a second, but it's getting later in the morning. If you guys look up there, what do you see? Not even a single cloud in the sky. We have a very high pressure system. So I'm gonna finish fishing the spinner bait around the perimeter until I make it back to the starting point. Then we're gonna slow it down and fish some plastics. Bad news guys, the bite has completely died. But before we head out, take a look over here. If you look over there, the pond is the normal pea soup green. And as we come over here, you've kind of got what looks like an algae bloom on top of the water. But then as you go towards the middle, there is a orange red film on top of the water. And now is that pollution from, I guess right there, is, is pollution getting drained into here or what is that? Comment below, let me know what it is because I'm kind of curious. All I can say is, I thought this challenge was gonna go quite a bit differently. I thought we'd have to explore three or four different areas to find some nice fish. Came out to a spot six minutes from Chick-fil-A and who would have known this dirty little pond would have been loaded with quality fish. All I can say is, don't judge a book by its cover and look out because we will definitely be doing more Google map challenges in the future. Thanks for joining me on another adventure. I will see you guys next video. Peace.